Yes, from a wild youth to youth who have got their heads firmly screwed on. Welcome to another Youth Sports Report. It is, of course, a Tuesday morning, where we take a look at some of the biggest news coming out of the youth sporting world from around Mzanzi. Let's start by looking at what happened in yesterday's Varsity Cup matches. It's been a cracker of a season so far. Pukka were too much to handle for Shimla Sazde. Um, at the Potterstrom base side, uh, defeated the Pretoria lads 48 to 29. Can you believe it? In the northwest, in MMU, humbled UJ 21 15 in front of the UJ faithful, whilst Tux thumped Vitz 53 8 in their encounter. But in the match of the evening, UCT handed Cape Rivals Marty's their second consecutive varsity defeat in a gripping match in Stellenbosch yesterday. It was just UCT's second ever varsity cup win against Marty's, and their first in the Bosch, leaving the three time champion. Champions winless after two rounds following their defeat against the NMMU uh, Madibas last week. The loss sees Marty's languishing in seventh place on the log, an unfamiliar position for them with just one point from the opening games, whilst Pukka are the surprise package as they lead the log with 10 points from 10 in their opening matches. Now we take a look at some of the Port Natal fixtures. Glenwood Invitational will be looking to maintain their perfect record at the Port Natal Night Series. And they take on George Campbell in tonight's fixtures. Whilst Pine Town will look to build on their last win last week when they tackle Durban High School. The host school will look to bounce back from their 15-6 defeat at the hands of Glenwood Invitational side last Friday when they face off with Durban Developmental 15 tonight. The Night Series concludes next Friday. Go out and support it. So far, it provided fireworks. Now looking at some of the water polo fixtures coming up. Ronde Bosch will look to overtake Bishops and climb to third on the log when they take on Bishops in the first match of the evening. Thereafter, Redham will look to keep the pressure on Sachs when they look for all three points against an unpredictable Weinberg side. And Sachs look to make it four out of four when they take on Paul Roos, who have yet uh, to win this year. Again, an unfamiliar position for them. And finally, turning to cricket, South Africa would dealt a massive blow on Friday morning when all-rounder Diane Khalim was ruled out of the under-19 World Cup due to tendonitis in his knee. The 17-year-old Rondebosch boys' high pupil was due to play a very important role with both bat and ball in the side. And coach Ray Jennings will now be tasked with having to find a replacement for the highly talented Cape Tonian. Khalim's father, Riaz, confirmed that his son would have to rest for the next few months and that if he is to play any cricket at all for Rondebosch, it would be in the capacity as a batsman only. Diane is obviously gutted, but he is a strong boy and he'll bounce back, said Riaz, knowing that Diane will still be eligible for next uh, year's or the next World Cup, rather, in 2016. Great PE's former captain Lloyd Brown is one of the favourites to replace Khalim in the SA Under-19, so we wish him all the best of luck, but our thoughts are with you, my brother. A very speedy recovery. That's a wrap of your youth sport for this morning. We'll get back into our sporting headlines in about half an hour or so. Oh, well, the beautiful for pop princesses are in studio this morning. We are getting you prepped for the week of love.